Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you a bad way of doing site collection navigation, the more traditional way. I'm going to show you a more modern one in the next demonstration. But here I'll start with the traditional way of doing site collection navigation. When you're planning your internet, you probably envision your internet something like that. You have the HQ site, you have the sales and the IT site collections, and that's just fine. There are really good reasons to create multiple site collections, one for each department maybe. But when you want to do your navigation, you could of course start building that in the same way, and that's the bad way of doing it. It doesn't really scale well, but I'm going to show you how to do it with a no-code solution, and you'll see how that works. So I'm going to add some links here. So let's do one for the sales department first, and um, another one for IT, and then of course I want one for the search side also. Even though the search link is actually here, uh, of course, as usual. As you see, that's rather easy to do. It actually does scale rather well also if you add another one like this called departments without an address then you can drag and drop these things underneath there. So you can have maybe up to 100 links in a big mega menu there and that does work. The problem is of course if you want to have a consistent menu like this over many site collections. So for the sales there's no inheritance here. You can't inherit the navigation from another site collection. So you would have to do the same kind of thing again. So I would link to HQ, of course, and then I would link again to departments and show the other departments in there. Get the picture. It's a lot of work. Can be done, but it gets tedious rather quickly. So I think you get my drift by now. So that's the simple but boring and not very scalable way of doing site collection navigation. I'm going to show you how to do it with search in another one. Thank you for watching this demonstration.